Oh, hi, Rich Evans. Oh, hi, Mike. What have you been up to lately? Well, I've been kind of busy this week. I've been doing some work for Bob Barker, the former host of The Price is Right. Really? What kind of work? Oh, he's had me spaying and neutering all of his pets. He owns tigers. Ouch. In unrelated news, I've also built this plinkle, I mean, I, I mean this legally distinct plinketto board. Oh my God, it's amazing. We could use this to randomly select terrible VHS films. I didn't even think of that. I just put these tapes at the bottom of the board because I figured I needed some color, but yeah. Wow, what a great addition to the series Best of the Worst. Well, Rich, explain to us how Plinketto works. Haven't you seen The Price is Right? What movies do we have? Dr. Butcher, MD. Star Crystal. Striker. Voodoo Black Banker. Voodoo Black Exorcist. Death Stalker. Player's Choice. Alien Chasers. Double Dragon. Going Overboard. Viking Massacre. A movie. Richard Evans from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, are you ready to play Plinketto? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Let's play! Be very careful climbing up that ladder. Where's the puck? What? The puck. I don't know, you built the thing. You gotta drop a uh, thing, hold on. right? Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't got all day. Why would you move the ladder if you're just going to get the puck? You're just going to have to move the ladder back. Oh, hold on. The ladder's caught on something. All right. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's Double Dragon. Did I, did, I, did I win? No, everyone's a loser. Well, Rich, you selected Double Dragon, a double blast of fun, an entertaining high energy mix by the New York Post. Hmm. Why don't you tell us all about Double Dragon? All right. The hit video game roars to life with amazing special effects and spectacular action sequences. I bet. In the far off future of 2007, New Angeles is ravaged by earthquakes, tidal waves, and vicious gang wars. The evil tycoon Koga Shuko, Terminator 2's Robert Patrick. <gasps> Robert Patrick, Robert he's Patrick. my favorite. Yeah is obsessed with finding both halves of the double dragon, a talisman which will give him awesome mystical powers. Teenage brothers, Jimmy and Billy Lee, Mark Draco, Mark, Mark, oh, well, this guy had such a memory. What? Career. Mark Dacascos and what? Scott Wolf uh, wind up with the missing half, thrusting them into the adventure of their lives. Marion, Alyssa Miliano, Miliano? I can't, I Milano. can't say Milano. I don't give a shit. Actress, famous actress, and the vigilante power core help them summon all of their courage, resourcefulness, and martial arts skills to stop the villain's evil plan. This high octane action spectacular crackles with the energy and humor of its heroes. Buckle your seatbelt and enjoy the ride. We have to wear seatbelts? What? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm somewhere. <laughs> Be more specific. <laughs> China is a large country, you guys. All right. <laughs> Oh, that village. I know where this is at. Yeah. 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 Come on, this scum killed that father. A scone oh, killed yeah. my father? <laughs> <laughs> our father. Like, our That father. barista's gonna pay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That curtain will stop them. <laughs> that <curtain. laughs> oh, it did. Oh, no, that curtain doesn't this, work at all. This piece of fabric. What do I do? It's curtains for you. <laughs> Why didn't they yell a pun? <laughs> really? Yeah. No. They didn't use their sweet kung fu moves? Right. Nothing but net. Hey! hey. Count it on the pun. About, about time. Well, let's move on to our next contestant, Jay Bowman. Why is this board making everybody talk like a weirdo? We got going down to the game show. Oh my god. Let's see what the movies we got. Jay Bowman. All right, here we go. <laughs> the Stalker! The Stalker! <laughs> Money. Holy moly, Jay, we got Death Stalker. This, based on the cover, looks like an awesome movie. Never, uh, never judge a VHS tape by its cover, because I can guarantee the movie will look nothing fucking like this. Uh, I'm disappointed already. Uh, but it does star Playboy Playmate of the Year, Barbie Benton. <laughs> yeah, Journey to an Age of Awesome Magic. Death Stalker, The Last Great Warrior King. He's not going to fight anything like this in the movie. Oh, I really hope Nothing. he does. I kind of love that thing. Uh, the Might of the Sword versus the Evil of the Sorcerer. This thrilling adventure starring voluptuous Playboy Playmate of the Year, Barbie Benton. That's all in caps. <laughs> They're really banking on Barbie Benton. Is an, is an exciting mixture of mythology and mysticism. It is a journey out of time, out of place. His name, Space Cop. <laughs> To a world of evil wizardry, mystical warriors, and violent passions. A world where only the most powerful survive. Deathstalker is the mighty warrior chosen to battle the evil forces of this medieval planet. Bored of petty brawls and willing wenches? Who gets Ooh. bored of willing wenches? Well, when your name is Deathstalker. <laughs> is that his name? Is I that his first or last name? That's both. It's like Prince. Okay. The artist formerly known as Deathstalker. <laughs> And bent on revenge for past wrongs, this handsome, lustful fighter <laughs> sets wait, off. Wait, so he's lustful and bored of wenches? I, I, I think you see where this is going. He's lustful, but he's bored with wenches. You, oh, you see? Oh, he's going after the This wizards. was a very progressive film for its time. That's great. Uh, sets off on a journey to the most challenging tournament in the land. To the winner, the throne of the evil wizard, the ultimate. What? the ultimate mystical power, and the love of the high-spirited and beautiful Princess Kadil. But first, he must prove himself worthy of his legacy, and treachery lurks at every turn. Ooh, Death Stalker! Da -da -da -da. There's gonna be, there's not gonna be any monster like this in the movie, but there will be plenty of boobs, is my guess. I'll, t I'll take boobs if I can't get monster. Let's go watch it. <laughs> Who, who's boobs? Playboy boobs? Uh, Deathstalker's boobs. Yay! Man boobs! <laughs> Damn girl. He looks like Khan. Uh, he has oh, Khan's uh, hair. Oh, uh, oh my. Wait. Oh. Hey. Guess, guess it's gonna be some rape after all! <laughs> no, she's willing. She's a willing wench. Not According to the back of the box, they're all willing wenches. No, no. But what? No, he's giving, he's checking for a breast. <laughs> Uh, no lumps are good. We should get that look done. <laughs> Dr. Deathstalker. <laughs> Dr. Deathstalker. <laughs> I stalk cancerous tumors. I prescribe leech. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got. Stalker. Stalker. Catch. Oh. 
Oh, oh, he's got a lightsaber now. <laughs> the third power. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey. What? what? Are those his nuts? <laughs> what? Really? What's I don't. Mean? I have no idea he's what. He's terrified of it. He's just terrified of the sword? You don't have anything to eat, do you? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't realize we were watching an avant garde film. You know, what did he say? You don't have anything to eat, do you? But I think she fancies you. I'll have her sent to your chamber when the excitement is over. Oh, back, hey, let's get back to raping. Back, back to raping, raping and fighting. All right. <laughs> Don't forget about the midgets. <laughs> midgets and butts and boobs. Jeez. Pig man. Just, oh. uh, pig man and mud. That's not so bad. Oh, that's Westman. Oh. Jesus. Fuck his no. Oh. Just swinging around on the... Look at this whimsical rape like riot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the merry old land of wizards, warriors, and rape! All right, Josh. Joker's wild, Rich. The Joker, Joker's wild. Joker. Joker. The price is right. Spin the wheel. Here, here, here. The take, take the pot. Go oh. up there and, and drop, drop, drop the pot. Oh, oh, okay. You go on. Right. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, fucking tic tac toe or whatnot. Jesus Christ. Remember tic tac toe? It was a game show. They played tic tac toe. Vowels! They turned that into a show. How stupid do you have to be to watch a game show that's tic tac toe? You put the, you put the thing in the center and then you make a line. Fucking idiots. All right, Josh, drop it. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Dr. Butcher! Corner shot! <laughs> Skills. <laughs> Josh, you have won Dr. Butcher. Hurrah! The classic from Paragon Video. We all know ah, yes. how good Paragon Video is. Very excited about Dr. Butcher, MD. Dr. Butcher, MD. He is depraved, sadistic rapist, semicolon, a bloodthirsty killer, and he makes house calls. Oh, well, here, yeah, hey. Yeah. Hey, house calls. <laughs> that's impressive. No, you're not a lot of people do that these days. You know, house calls, rape, rape, house calls. Oh, boy, yeah. that's tough. It's a tough line to walk. Makes house calls too rape. <laughs> so you're not getting the implication uh, oh, Sorry. Oh, okay. A mad doctor's deranged dream of creating perfect people by taking parts of one person and interchanging them with another backfires as his creations develop strange side effects. Running time approximately 81 minutes. Okay. That's it. That's, that's it? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Watch, watch where you're standing. That, that sign, that's the structural support. Ooh. I really, I had no idea what I was doing when I built this. <laughs> that's, that's... I, I just, I just started slapping wood together Rich, and... This, this is, this is the sign of structural? It's, it's, it's holding the whole thing together. That's an engineering miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> we need to, um, call some people and get some papers written, so... You might, you might step further back. Oh, 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 okay, all right. It's, it's, is it making that noise? Did you hear that? Jesus. It's, oh, it's, just, it's three. Rich, Rich. I, uh. What's that? It's a ceremonial knife for human sacrifice. Oh. <laughs> it's unrelated. <laughs> it's com <laughs> the hospital mutilation. <laughs> Your princess is in another castle. <laughs> Rich, what are they saying? Pronto, prepare the operating table. I'm anxious to experiment on a male Caucasian brain. Quick, Laurie, get out! Chandler! Certainly did her no favor by doing that. No! No! She's just, yeah, 100% fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well. Yep. Yep. Now Stay he's inside, to... get experimented on. Go outside, get eaten. Yeah. <laughs>
medallions and zero medallions. That's too bad. That's a medallion. So, on this terrible, terrible episode of Best of the Worst, we watched three terrible films um, that were all terrible. Did, have I said terrible yet? Um, you didn't say it enough times. I, I need you have to say it five so more how times. Were the, how were the movies? Terrible, terrible, terrible. I, I can honestly say, I know we're not at the, the recommendation phase, or when, I can say there are zero redeeming qualities in any of these films, but we're gonna do our best to break them down, discuss them, and find out which film is the best of the worst. Rich, yeah. let's uh, talk about our first film, The Photon Effect, or no. <laughs> That, not even close. I, not, I can't. Double Dragon. All right, let's get this shit out of the way. It's good. I'm, I'm first to get it out, get it done. It's, it's a movie about a video game. Hey, you're a video game guy. Yeah. You're a video game we guy. Play, we play this video is game. this is perfect. You guys talk about it, Rich, and especially you know you were you were you were uh, you were like 32 when Double Dragon was out <laughs> in the in the arcades. Yeah. So really, you have a very clear memory of the game and the film. So why don't you go ahead? The movie Double Dragon. It's about two kung fu guys who don't use their kung fu to beat up a bunch of gang members. What do they use? They use like Harsh a, words? They got like a rocket car and a boat. Yeah. And they run around, they run. They run away a lot, like afraid. <laughs> but the kicking, there's so much kicking. There's a lot of kicking. There's there's much kicking. kicking. Yeah, Are you implying they're homosexuals? Oh, shit. You said it. What, what, what was the film about? What was the heart of the film? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> the, the T-1000 wants the other half of a magic amulet. For what purpose? So we can, so we can turn into, he can already, have, the one half he has lets him turn into like a flat ghost shadow. Oh my man. <laughs> but he can, he, if he has the other half, I don't know, he can be like a really strong ghost shadow? He gets the other half at the end, remember? He gets it at the end. And then, well, then he can, yeah, I don't know. He wants to rule New Angeles. I just want total domination of one major American city! Is that too much to ask for? Is it? Is it? Huh? He wants to control New Angeles with all of the power that he can possibly hold inside himself. There's That's nothing, why he wants the medallion. There is nothing memorable in this film. I remember. We, we got done watching all three, and I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what the first film we watched was. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I was trying to think of it. What was it? I don't. I had to look over at the table with the tapes. I think that has more to do with the content of Deathstalker and Dr. Butcher. Yeah. The distraction. The distraction. You're right though, Rich. I could not remember either, but Josh, you brought up New Angeles. I did. And then I remembered all the, the post-apocalyptic, post-earthquake uh, uh, yeah. stuff. Right. And all those right. matte paintings, a lot. There was some neat stuff in it. Why don't That's you tell us about the setting? Of That's the what film. I'm talking about. This is, 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 is 2007. So this is seven years after the uh, earthquake took out Los Angeles, and they've rebuilt into New Angeles. But the setting is is this is is this post-apocalyptic Los Angeles, and at one point they're in a, a river that is Hollywood Boulevard, and they're in the boat, and you're seeing all these like there's Man's Chinese Theater that's that's falling down, and in the background there's uh, the Capitol Records building is 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 in disrepair. And so I thought that would, that was one of the things that was definitely good about Double Dragon is they had some nice matte paintings, they took the time, spent some money. Well, it is a major studio film, which is not the kind of thing we usually end up watching on this show. So there was definitely a budget involved, and you could tell they spent it in some odd ways, but the budget was there. And the bad guy is uh, Robert Patrick, who we will know as the T-1000, and he looks like uh, a <laughs> member of the Backstreet Boys. Perhaps. I would say, I mean, he's a cross between Joey Fatone and Zachary Taylor Thomas, right in, in between there. Both, Wait, both, both were Backstreet Boys. No, no, I, I, no. I know a thing no. or two about Backstreet Boys, right in between Jack, there. Jack, ZTT was on, uh, was on Home Improvement. Yeah, 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 it's not a Don't Backstreet even. Boy. Don't even front like that. Bye, bye, bye. Mm -hmm. That one? Yeah. Yeah. Zachary Taylor Thomas? Yeah. Zachary Taylor Thomas and Joey Fatone. Named after the president? Zachary Taylor? Yeah. Well, I was taking it back old school. <laughs> uh, 
We're forgetting about the biggest plot point of Double Dragon, which is that uh, the cops have struck a deal with the gangs, mm -hmm. where the gangs uh, agreed to get rid of all their guns and they can rule the night. And the cops can rule the day. And that sets us up for uh, none of the bad guys have guns. They all use kicks and punches. Not even. That's the problem is that there was, there was so much focus on quality matte paintings of a post-apocalyptic Los Angeles for no reason. And this, this Robert Patrick, this uh, guy, megalomaniac guy who wants to control the city for no reason. And there's very little like street fighting mm -hmm. it, and yes. like a double dragon from what I remember was the two little characters kind of going down the street and going psh, 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 right? Yep. Yeah. That's, Occasionally was, they would kick. It was very low tech compared to like, um, what's the other, what's the one? Street, 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 fighter. street fighter, yeah. Very low tech compared to that. And there was barely any like actual like martial arts. Not a lot. Because I'm assuming Scott Wolf and this other guy didn't know martial arts. arts. The ch I think the chairman, I don't know Marshall what his Shirts. name is. Marshall Shirts. Marshall Shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's a it's lot of Marshall Shirts. Got that going diarrhea on. foo there. I got my brown It's belt. very important to blind your opponent. That's what you get after. <laughs> you, that's what you get after you have the poo poo platter is Marshall Shirts. That's a good one. That's a good one. Why? Because poo poo is like poop. And shark no, is like No, I was poop. just saying a dish. Okay. Yeah, but it yeah. sounds like poop. Are you being racist? Yes. There it is. Oh my gosh. Only 40 more minutes. So, so how about Terminator 2's Robert Patrick? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> he turned into Flat Stanley. <laughs> Find me the other half. Oh my god. He's come a long way, baby! He's got a lot of Asian names in this movie, despite being not Asian. That's right. Yeah. So maybe that's another white, Hollywood whitewashing. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Might as well pull his eyelids back with scotch tape, like Rich wanted to do for his Halloween costume. What the fuck, Mike? <laughs> that's, that's... What the fuck? I, did, I, told, I said I wouldn't tell anyone, but I did. Rich, Rich wanted to go I as, can't win today. He wanted to go a short round. <laughs> you said it. A anything that you take away from the video game, it's, <laughs> it's rocket-powered station wagons and testicle monsters. Those, and boat chases. And boat chases. Mm. Those were the three main points of the video game. And Alyssa Milano's butt. Mm -hmm. well, you can just add that in anywhere. It's fine. No, it's, really, they keep looking at her butt. They, you know, I mean, can, can, you, can you blame them? Though? They got a case of the not gays, they got even a... though they're brothers. <laughs> and why are they brothers? Because one's, one's an Asian, one's a, one's a Chinaman. Rich? <laughs> God damn Rich? it. No, 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 I'm asking you, like, do you know anything about the, the video game character? No, I really don't know. I'm not trying to set actually, you up. Or actually, I, I really, really don't. Just I actually believe that they confused the characters from Double Dragon with characters from Street Fighter. Yeah. Because Ka there's Ryu Ken and, and Ryu oh, yeah. from Street Fighter. Who, uh, who who are uh, not brothers, yeah. but they uh, they they train together, and the two characters from Double Dragons were the exact same sprite with just different colored uniforms. Yeah, Ken and Ryu are red and white, right? Yeah. From what I recall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The choice is yours. He is he is a mad scientist. He is an evil corporate tycoon. He is an evil mafia gang leader, and he also wants the mystical thing that will give him god powers. He's, also he's a, every type of head bad guy story. He's, a, he's an Very evil versatile. like ninja master. And he's also in a boy band. He's also in a boy band. Yeah. The whole movie revolves around T2 trying to get the other half of the golden amulet. Yeah. Mm. That's the whole point. And, and the point for him to get the other half of the golden amulet is to become super powerful to control New Angeles. Yes. But getting the other half of the golden amulet turns him into multiples of a zombie in a hood. Yeah. And that's the way to control a city. It's true. Oh! oh gosh. Man. Let's that's have some fun. fun. Oh, double dragon is. Oh, I would two. agree with you. Only two. Only two. Only two. Oh, okay. Who Only were two. who were easily defeated by mortal men. Yes. Yeah. But he also was able to uh, put himself into any person, including one of the brothers, 
anybody that doesn't have the other half of the amulet, he could just control. And you think you could control uh, the, head, the, the head of the cops, you could control the mayor, you could control anybody. That's I mean, the failing is that it's one at a time, but you could still pretty much get that done, probably. Just go straight up to the top. I control Ghost control the president of the, un the new United States of yeah. America, uh -huh. yeah. as I'm sure they're called at this it's point. It's just sure. a new Los Angeles. <laughs> Uh, uh, Just wait there the whole time? Oh, the graffiti coats. Are these the are these the people from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Just <laughs> waiting around camouflage? Yep. She runs the anti-gang gang, which is slightly hypocritical. But they they have some really nice coats. They do. Oh yeah, they had clown thugs and theme thugs. And like theme yeah. thugs. Yeah, and there was there was a postman. There was a postman yeah, thug yeah. who I yeah. thought might actually be a postman. Just, he, just a regular he just, postman. He just got caught up in this insanity. Totally fair. And fell off a building. Up. He jumped off a water tower type yeah. thing and, and said airmail. And then just landed on his face and it wasn't very effective. Like he threw his body as a weapon. Yeah. Like. Airmail! What? Oh God. <laughs> He's in the postman game. Never seen a postman move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he was a normal mailman who was committing suicide at coincidentally at the same time this kung fu fight was going on. Okay. And then once the fall didn't kill him and he finds out he's in the middle of this gang war, he found a purpose in life <laughs> and he joined one of the gangs, which coincidentally was a, was a postman themed gang. Was he planning to yell of air mail as he committed suicide or is yeah, that he unrelated? Yeah, he was going out with some flair. Sure. Air mail! You would have yelled that even if no one was around. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave an exclamation point, not a question mark. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right. Um, well, if he jumped off a higher building, he would have left a lot of escalate. Esc oh god. So don't, don't don't even do it. <laughs> don't even do that it. one's not worth it. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. If, he, if he jumped off a taller building, he would have left a lot of. The moment's passed, Rich. <laughs> Listen, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know what you were doing again. Ready? <laughs> Try it yeah, one more I'm, time. You know, fuck yourself. Go, go fuck yourself. No, no, I won't send you anything, I promise. Uh, what, what, try, what, am I, what, am I, what am I, Charlie Brown trying to kick a football here? Try another take of it. I'm you not guys, gonna fly that guys, kite. You guys be quiet, you guys be quiet. Try another take of it. I look, I'll even drink while you're doing it. If you want me to set it up, I'll set it up. Mm -hmm. So leave, 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 leave an exclamation point, not a question mark. Well, if he jumped off of a taller building, then he definitely would have left some exclamation. On to our next film, <laughs> Deathstalker. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I need another drink. I gotta. Spinach is supposed to be very good for the. Well, uh, that's Double Dragon. Sure is or was. A film with two words that start with D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And our other films, Deathstalker and Dr. Butcher, are also terrible. Jack, tell us all about Deathstalker. It's it's kind of your standard barbarian medieval fantasy where you have your your muscly hero with the big sword fighting the bad guy wizard. Only with like 80 per, not you wizard like a magic wizard. Uh, hey, uh, well like a magic with a staff wizard. Okay, stop yeah. doing that when you... <laughs> well, you have to do this because the movie is 80% rape. All right, okay, that's okay, fair. Okay, that's fair. And, and for, for some reason, everyone in this movie, including the hero, rapes. Rape is a sport. Rape is a pastime. Rape is a reward. Rape is a punishment. So it's like a fraternity. Are you saying fraternities get raped or do rapes? Uh, do rapes. They do rapes, yeah. Was this a, a 1950s song? <laughs> do rape, do rape, do rape. Do oh, no. Going to the party it don't a mean a thing if you ain't got that rape. Do rape, do rape, do rape, do rape, do rape. Wow. Wow. That's why they called him the big bopper. Yeah! Yay! 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 Oh. <laughs> what the fuck movie? <laughs> the movie's Just, gone off the rails. This was Jesus. 
But Jack, so are you saying that basically rape is just a part of their culture? <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently. So we the, can't the, really criticize Throw your trigger warnings out, please. No. There's a lot of barbarians watching. <laughs> So, so the, the movie starts with our hero, whose name is, in actuality, Deathstalker. With your strength and courage, Deathstalker, you can use the power in the sword to get the amulet. Deathstalker stops... It's a German name. It's a, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Deathstalker. <laughs> uh. That's pretty good. I'm, hey, like I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. by that. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so are most of the women in this film. <laughs> oh, not so pleasantly, Rich. Not so pleasant. So the, the movie starts with a woman being raped by a bandit. That bandit gets interrupted by a group of goblins who then start raping the woman. <laughs> this is true! This is, these are not jokes. These are not jokes! They look right like they're right out of Troll 2, like they wandered right off the set. They wanted to feed her something green. But yeah, that actually made sense that they would look like trolls because the uh, the effects were John Carl Beekler, who did Troll, so it's probably just shitty had laying around k &B. Why do you know this guy's name? Because I asked Jay. Why does Jay know this guy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah. so the goblins stop the raper from raping the lady, and they start raping the lady, only to... <laughs> What is this, Rich Evans' autobiography? <laughs> what? Which one is Rich Evans? <laughs> I'm the one who's getting raped by my friends. <laughs> oh, God. Are you calling us goblins? How dare you, sir? <laughs> so, but, Deathstalker comes in, saves the lady from the goblins and the bandits only to rape her. What do you want? So then the Deathstalker meets uh, an elderly king. An army isn't the way. A brave man could get inside in one car's castle and kill him. You need a fool? No, a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, huh? Sounds better than rape thing. Because apparently the king was just set up right outside waiting for the coitus to be done. You don't know how long it was before he saw the king. There could have been dozens of rapes in between then. <laughs> they measure they measure they measure time and distance in rapes. In, in Six I, rapes ago, I uh in our world we have race horses and theirs they have rape horses. The horses don't rape, They're just, they just measure time and distance and rape. Yeah. It's not our fault that so many bad filmmakers use rape to define a bad guy. Uh, or, and a good guy in this case. Apparently. Or just to get tits into the movie. This is the real problem. Well, this is, is, this is above and beyond defining a bad guy. Yeah. Well, well beyond that, Wait, this is... no, the bad guy in this movie doesn't rape anyone. That's right. He lets his new wife get raped, but that's different. He offers his new wife <laughs> yeah. for the rape. He's just like, let's all drink and have fun. Oh. Here's my wife. Hey, he like, her. He has like 30 wives, and they're yeah. all like slaves and all that. Yeah. Yeah. She's the new wife, who's like princess whoever the fuck. Needs to be loosened up a little bit. Oh, that, that, well, that's that's a, no, sad. that's not. You should. Huh? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh that's great. The bad guy has a little puppet friend. Was that ever explained? No. He that's was just... feeding him fingers and eyeballs. Yeah, that's just color. <laughs> it was great. The one thing in the film that didn't want to rape and we get no information yeah, about it. All I want to do is eat little little boy's eyeballs. That's true. Well, none of, none of the puppets want to rape because there's also the cave troll. Oh yeah. He didn't rape anybody. Well, but, but the cave troll turned into a man who wanted to rape people. No, he didn't. No, he turned into a pedophile because he made Deathstalker turn into a small boy and he was looking up his loincloth. He was watching him have sex with the Playboy Playmate. Oh yeah. And then Ooh, yeah. he fell asleep during it. How lazy were they with that Playboy Playmate's costume? They didn't even bother trying. <laughs> it's just a cloak over nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, that, huh? Did she just walk around like that? 
It would be very distracting for the That's other true. fighters. <laughs> What, they, they can't afford an outfit? No, well. Even a sexy outfit, but they're like, ah, oh, she's naked, that's her thing. She had a wardrobe malfunction, but it was something covered up her tits. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fix that, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I'm <laughs> the that's cool. So Deathstalker uh, hangs out with a witch, as you do, and the witch says, hey Deathstalker, you gotta go kill the wizard. And Deathstalker says, fuck that, I'm living the life, getting the bitches, killing the goblins. But then he, he goes and gets the sword anyway. Oh yeah, because the king is like, hey, you can have sort of like a title, and I don't fucking care about a title. And then there's my daughter. Oh, did da daughter, you say? Hmm. <laughs> So 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 after uh, 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 Deathstalker saves Midriff, uh, they go off and then they're kind of going through the woods with uh, uh, the troll guy who's turned into a person, and they're heading off to the magic fellow's castle, and they run into uh, Tits Warrior, who also is going to fight in the uh, uh, everybody fights everybody uh, competition, which is supposed to lead to uh, somebody taking over the magic fellow's position because he's old and going to die soon and definitely needs a successor, not wants to kill all of the strong people in the kingdom. It's a trap. Yeah. It's a trap. Can we talk about the centerpiece of the film? Absolutely. Which sure. is, which is, well, we don't know Deathstalker. He's an asshole, mm. right? Yeah. Everyone's an asshole. Yes. Everyone's a rapist. Um, but everyone meets in this, like, main part of the castle. Yeah. And there's mud wrestling. There's rape. Oh boy. Uh, there's people fighting, mm -hmm. and there's a guy with a pig face. Oh, pig face. <laughs> and and for an hour and a half in the middle of the film, it's just whatever goes. It's, it looks like people are having fun. It looks At the same like time the they're guys getting raped. Are yeah, having fun. It looks like the men are having fun. The in women this look like they're having fun mud wrestling. They're laughing. And well, then... because no one's raping them at that moment. Uh, yeah, it it, it, it it makes absolutely no sense. Wait, I, I know what you're thinking. Don't, no, please don't turn me into a hot lady. <laughs> oh, he's gonna grow a boob. Uh huh. <laughs> Boobs are happening. No. Mm -hmm. He's a, he's about he's gonna. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 yeah. Really? Oh, wait. Yeah. So, why? Because that's the. He's the that's how he's gonna the kill Deathstalker. Yeah, and then she's gonna kill Deathstalker. The magician turns one of his henchmen into the princess. Yes. And then sends that, what he, she, them, sends them to the suite to seduce Deathstalker and get stabby on him. Uh, but Deathstalker, seeing clearly through this ruse, just rapes the person a little bit until he figures out that the vagina is not correct. <laughs> he, he knows. He knows it's a, he it's a fictional magical vagina. He uses, he's like, this ain't wet enough. Right. He's in there. He's I'm Deathstalker, <laughs> bitch. Something doesn't feel right in. You're a dude. You see, full yeah. stops is like, who are you? Yeah. Get out. The plot went wrong. She didn't figure that he would start raping her right away. <laughs> she figured she would have at least six minutes. This is very uncomfortable. Then finish it quickly, my princess. And I'll give you your dick back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should. You don't have anything to eat, do you? Well, uh, our third film is called Dr. Butcher, MD, also known by a different title, Zombie Holocaust? Zombie something or other, I don't uh, something. know. Something. Zombie Holocaust. It's essentially an Italian zombie horror film where there's a doctor in it, so they, they retitled it Dr. Butcher. Uh, Josh. No, oh God. A, AKA oh. the wizard. Huh, Tell yeah. us all about Dr. Butcher, MD. Oh boy. Just, just try. Just I'm see go, what, I'm just gonna, throw some spaghetti right. on the wall, see what sticks. Oh, hey, watch it with the Italian. It's Italian shaming, sorry. So <laughs> they should be ashamed. <laughs> because of Dr. Butcher? They should be ashamed. Oh, I wasn't even thinking my spaghetti reference was an Italian filmmaker reference. That's just the thing you say to throw in spaghetti. So in the opening of Dr. Butcher, there are some zombies walking around a graveyard which seems uh, unconnected to anything for the rest of the movie. And we're just like, oh, we're not gonna see that again. Meanwhile, a doctor 
um, is in a hospital and he's trying to lead anatomy classes, but the problem is all the corpses start losing chunks, like hands, hearts, you name it. Uh, and nobody seems to know why that's happening, but his pretty assistant, who also is uh, a, a, an archaeologist? Or an amateur archaeologist? She says something about yeah. that. Yeah, or she's just, she has a passion for archaeology. Not an archaeologist. Yes! Not, a, not archaeologist. But yeah, but she loves archaeology. And whenever you need me, just call. You know anthropology is still my secret passion. <laughs> <laughs> no, she says as she's getting out of the car of whatever dude that was before she goes to the restaurant. She's just fucking a really old guy, and yeah, she calls it archaeology. And she's... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm digging for bones. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was I was playing a cell phone game for most of this film. We know. Rich, are you playing a game? What are you doing? Cut it out! You gotta pay attention to the films. What is the fuck? Take his phone away. <laughs> That's ridiculous. My cell phone is ancient, so I was trying to watch the movie. And now I'm trying to tell you about it. And it's not going so well, but I'm gonna continue on. What he's saying is, Rich, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> so there's a nosy reporter that shows up and is like, hey, why is everybody in the hospital losing body parts? I hear it's a cannibal thing. And, she, and the archeologist doctor lady's like, no, it's not. Uh, look at my ceremonial dagger that I have on the wall. I gotta go back to work. The oh. ceremonial dagger that I got from a cannibal culture. Weird. That's odd that I have that. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the hospital, and then when they go back to the hospital, uh, one of the hospital workers is just totally like opening up a dude's fucking chest and taking out the heart, and it's about like, ah, and the lights come on, and everybody's like, hey, you're the cannibal in the hospital, boo. And then he jumps out a window. Oh, is he Oh, jeez! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the arm came off! Oh, beautiful. They're both back now. Yeah. Uh, to, to kill himself and avoid prosecution, I guess, or whatever. And they get back downstairs, and they look at his chest, and he's got the uh, little logo tattooed on him, which is the same thing that's on the knife. Which means that everybody has to go to a tiny island. And the cast of people that go to the tiny island are uh, uh, archaeologist Dr. Lady, uh, other doctor fellow, his assistant, uh, nosy reporter lady. Um, I think that's, is that it? What do you? The professor and Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir, well done. Yeah, that's, 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 that's very good. And the skipper very too. The skipper. Yeah. So uh, there is a, is a head in the lady's bed and she's terrified, but the next morning she gets up perfectly rested and happy and then they go to the other side of the island so the to point, look for the cannibals. Is that a horse's head? No, it's, it's a, a man's head. head with magnets. <laughs> oh, shit. Dolph, oh, those are Ooh, sharp knives. Guts. Good job, guys. That's some good, good uh, effects there. I like that. So then they go to the other side of the island where the cannibals are, and they're going to go check them out. Wait. Cannibals are on different sides of the island? Yeah, apparently there's some sort I don't know if there's like a like a Donald Trump wall or something that's holding them back, but they're definitely the cannibals that's, are that's separated. That's such an east side of the island cannibal attitude, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> you should check your cannibal privilege. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean anymore. I can't. So they're, they're there to explore the cannibals yeah. because they don't want any more cannibals in New York City where they yes. work. Yes, they want to make sure that they don't have any more cannibals in their hospital, or probably any other hospital in the U.S. And so they go over to the other side of the, of the island where the cannibals are, and the cannibals attack them. Surprise. And, and they're um, woefully unprepared to confront the cannibals that they were there to confront in the first place. Yes. <laughs> that is a good fake head. Wow, nice. Yeah, usually fake heads in cheap movies look terrible. They make it through the night and they call the doctor that's gonna meet them and take them off the island because correctly their response is, oh fuck, the cannibals actually just wanna eat us. Let's get off the island. The problem was, was all four, four or five people that came to the island were all thin people. They that's should have true. brought one really big fat guy. And, and just like, sated. and then they just could have sat there and studied. And then like, you know, put, oh, they all ate. Oh, oh, like, we learned all we can about the cannibals. Let's go. They could have put them in a cave. the wise, if you're hired to go on an expedition and you're the only fat guy, don't go. Don't get on the boat. We're talking about you, Louis Anderson. 
Don't go on the cannibal research expedition. He just wants to cut to a picture of Louie Anderson. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a fat guy. I mean, I can't believe You're the only one with a bright orange jumpsuit, Louie Anderson. I want to point that out. You know, if I were a cannibal, and I'm not even one, but I'd still eat you. You look like you're the other white meat, as they say. I mean, but I, here's, here's, here's the, the thing, though. Like when Louis we, Anderson is actually a dish. When we eat cows, we're not eating the fat. We're eating the muscle tissue. You right. don't want a Louis Anderson. You want oh. a Lou Ferrigno. You want like, a, like, you want like yeah. a Terry Crews. You want a Terry Crews. You oh, want an Arnold sure. Schwarzenegger That's because true. the muscle is what we eat, not the fat. Get it together. You're right. You're right. We could use Louis Anderson as a cooking base to cook the fat, muscles. Fat is what makes meat juicy. When you're looking at a marbled steak, you're looking at a steak that has more fat in it. The yeah, lean right. steak is tough and it tastes like crap. More fat, but it's not only fat. We, so who's it, there's gonna be some. There's need, gonna be some non-fat okay, Louis here's Anderson. What, here's what we Which need. Is right, the he's not. Uh, he's not just a stick of butter. It he's mostly easy. butter. Let's uh, take a look at Louis Anderson for Rich a minute. Rich knows he's buttered up Louis Anderson and licked him. <laughs> <laughs> Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant. Where, he, where he's still alive has a nice mixture well, of Well, that, that meat's muscle. gone bad by now. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's like a, a yeah, the, the meat's pretty rotten at this point. Oh. We, don't want, we, do, we want someone with a lot of muscle but who's not too lean is the problem. So we want a football player. You want, you want like a Gilbert Brown? Like a, well, you know, you Gilbert want, Brown back in want, the day. Yeah, 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 William yeah. William the Refrigerator Perry, he's probably a bit old, he's probably a bit tough at this point. Yeah, not at this point, back See, in the day. See, that's why I'm going for the like, Gilbert Brown. Yeah. Like, you want, eh. Gilbert's still active, but you know, he's still it's retired. Shaq. Ooh, Shaq. Shaq. Shaq, that's some delicious meat. Hey. <laughs> Shaq would be tasty, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So on the way back to the relay point, they mm. get uh, attacked by the cannibals again, and they're all getting like pulled away different, <laughs> in different uh, directions your, by the while cannibals. While you're thinking about Shaq. And say, guess mm, what? Once that happens, that that's Shaq when the movie. zombies come back from the opening of the movie. I all of a sudden the zombie, Shaq. hey! Trying to talk about the fucking Dr. Butcher MD. Nobody Rich, cares. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, I'm trying to get Rich to lick his lips and say, I want some of that Shaq meat. <laughs> So that I could use it for my own purposes. I, I spend my fucking Sunday out here doing this with you guys. Mike is working on a gift that will be spread hundreds of millions of times. I don't. <sighs> I want that juicy shack. <laughs> uh, well, well, I do want to talk about how Rich wants uh, juicy shack meat. I do want to get back to Dr. Butcher. Do you? Yes, all I do. Right, I do. All right, all right. We can't let it devolve into complete chaos. That's I'm trying to keep this shit on track. We gotta keep, someone has to be in charge or on track here. You do know what's coming, right? You do know. <laughs> well, listen. I'm I need you to say I listen. want that juicy listen. chef. Listen. Me? me? Yeah. No. No, that's, that's, that's out of Dr. Butcher MD has a prescription. For that juicy shit. Mike, man. Mike, no, that's 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 out of character for me, Mike. No. So all of a sudden, the fucking zombies from the beginning of the movie pop up again, and they're just kind of standing there going, "I want that juicy shack." <laughs> Am I lying? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I knew you wanted it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh goddamn it. <laughs> Bj Armstrong. Oh God! What? Oh, rare. Look, you're only having Magic Johnson. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Can we be done yet? I just, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I want just that juicy shack meat. <laughs> The first thing that pops up on every fucking YouTube video from now on is just, I want that juicy shack meat. <laughs> I want that juicy shack meat. Want that pill? Want that pill? Want that juicy shack meat? Get, get it, get it going, man. Get it going. Dr. Butcher has a laboratory in, in like a shed. Yeah. And he does experiments to create the master race of zombies. I, he just, no, he just wants to prolong human life by a oh. hundred years. Okay. Yeah, so he's got, his way of prolonging human life by 100 years is to just combine body parts pretty much willy-nilly. What happens is he captures Roger Moore, Robert Redford guy. So I'm gonna take your brain and put it in the brain of this other guy from the island and you're gonna wake up tomorrow and you're gonna tell me how it is. You're gonna, you're gonna experience life and death and then you're gonna let me know. 
because apparently this is the first time he expects it to work. It hasn't worked before. Well, the problem is he keeps tearing out the vocal cords of the people that he's working on because they are, just won't shut the fuck up. And, the pro and then, on the other hand, they can't tell him anything because they don't have any vocal cords and apparently have lost the faculty to write. Meanwhile, blonde anthropology lady runs off and gets immediately captured by the cannibals. Like, within seconds. It's like, well, that was a dumb idea. But they take her somewhere and uh, take all her clothes off and paint her with leaves and then put her on like a, like a stone slab that looks totally like it's going to be like a sacrifice. And he's even got the sacrificial dagger that got stolen from her apartment. And it's like, oh shit, they're gonna kill her. Uh, and then they don't. I'm sorry, a few minutes ago, did you just say that you wanted some juicy shack meat? <laughs> did I? <laughs> I don't believe that I did. I, I must have misheard you. You know, Rich? <laughs> I thought Rich, you said that you wanted some juicy shack food. Sometimes you just you just go into your own head. It's all those magic mushrooms you take. This is why we want you to cut back. Not even stop, but cut back. I just, I just could have swore I heard you say that you wanted some juicy shack meat. No, did you, were, you, were you thinking about uh, just like caving someone's face in with the butt of a shotgun again? Because that happens and I'm a little concerned about that. Well, you gotta get to the shack meat somehow. <laughs> So Dr. Butcher is about to finish his experiment on uh, uh, the guy, and then all of a sudden, fucking cannibals are just pouring in every fucking door and window. They're just like, hey, we heard you had dead bodies here. We're going to eat them. And then they take down Dr. Butcher for some reason. I don't know. He's around. He's alive. They're tired of his shit. I don't care. Uh, meanwhile, the guy is over here, and then uh, uh, anthropology lady comes in and is like, hey, I put on this dress that really doesn't cover anything. Let's get the fuck out of here. And then they do, and the house burns down and we don't get to see the cannibals eat Dr. Butcher. Uh, and that's the end. There aren't even any end credits. It just stops. Italians! Freeze frame? Ow! Oh. Fuck you, Italian filmmaker! Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, we don't even get to see Dr. Butcher get eaten. The story has ended. Boo. That's bullshit. Well, that's Dr. Butcher in a nutshell. Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, in a nutshell. It's a giant fucking nutshell. One, oh, one concise, <laughs> compact nutshell. Like a coconut? Spread out like in a, a nutshell. <laughs> I, I did say world's largest nutshell. Uh, let's talk about which film is the best of the worst. Um, I'll start with Josh. Oh. Josh, oh. you're, you're picked the best of the worst. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Um, how oh, best of the worst? I, I know it's I, Dr. Butcher. Do you? Yeah. You think so? You know it, but I think it's Double Dragon. It's Double Dragon. It's Double Dragon because Double Dragon is the movie that we watched that operates the most like a movie. It's got characters that have a motivation and they do the thing. And um, it looks like somebody was in control of shooting it. <laughs> Dressing the sets, um, all those things that you really think of when you think this is a motion picture. Uh, Jack, Jack? Yeah. best of the worst. I don't. What, I don't what did you enjoy the most? I don't like any of these. Um, <laughs> I, I think. I think. I think we have a, a cavalcade of garbage. Uh, Double Dragon. I would like to say is the best of the worst, but it's just so bland that I can't pick it. Uh, Doctor Butcher, MD, kind of gets a foreign pass because. Foreigners made it. I would like to destroy Deathstalker okay. because yeah. I was frankly insulted by the vast amount of rape that was in it. Fair, but what's the best? None. No, you have to pick. The best is this beer I've been. That's drinking. fair. He doesn't have to pick a yes, best if he doesn't want. Since when? Oh, let me get out. Let me get out the official best of the worst rule book. Oh, please. I, <laughs> wait, I have it here. It's right here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. It's not oh, I honestly, 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 Mike, I thought you were gonna just like go under here and just pull up a couple of these. <laughs> ah, that too, that too. But Rich, your pick for best of the worst. There is only one movie that can be best of the worst. Kazam. <laughs> I think I know why. I, hmm. <laughs> yeah, dog. Because, because, because it has a genie and I wish I hadn't watched any of these movies. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I. I honestly, I honestly, out of the three films that we're looking at here, am I seriously going to be the only person that votes? Come on, Mike. <laughs> I, I, 
Come on. I cannot pick a best of the worst. They're Jesus all fucking Christ. terrible. If I wanted to say one to destroy, I, I'm, on, I'm with Jack here. No, I'm, I'm, I don't Death disagree Stalker with is, is, is a pathetic, despicable movie. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, it's a weird, you know, boom, weird, okay. weird okay. set on that. But I would also destroy these two. As well. <laughs> all right, so fucking, I'm taking Double Dragon home. Fuck oh, all you this shit. take Double Dragon home. <laughs> fucking tired. Fucker! I will destroy everything on this table. <laughs> oh. What was that? Well, we've completed Best of the Worst. Thank you. We'll never be back. <laughs> oh.